school mandate tax, one of at least seven tax hikes in the Obamacare law that directly hit families making less than $250,000 per year. And of course, they're talking about garnishing wages, not sending tax refunds and grabbing money out of bank accounts. The IRS goes on to say, if you've not paid the $5,000 fine or gotten the so-called health care, you may owe a shared responsibility payment when you file in 2015. Did you hear that? They're going to call it the shared responsibility payment, and the IRS is going to collect. It's like when they hired 17,000 new IRS agents in the bill. They went, no, we're not going to tax you. The IRS isn't going to take that money. I mean, it's in the bill, and it's a law, but we're not going to. Now let the bill pass. Yeah, shut up, racist. Everybody knows they're not going to tax this liar. Well, it's in the bill. Uh, you need to shut up, teabagger. And now we see it all unfolding from the IRS's own website. In the meanwhile, Obama is running around going, oh, I'm going to waive it for a year. I'm going to, only for big corporations, not for individuals. I mean, it is a giant screw job, ladies and gentlemen. And they're getting away with it, so why not? Next, they're going to take your bank accounts, your 401ks, your IRAs, and take a large percentage of it, nationalizing it. That's all being announced, already being done in Europe. Bail-ins, they're going to take large slices of your bank account money and threaten that the stock market's going to tank if you don't. That's how they hold you hostage. It's the same program over and over and over again. And they're placing more and more capital controls on cash and other systems. Uh, here's a Washington Post article. Obama administration health law. Health law's new rules will increase costs for most small businesses. Yes, it'll make people cut hours and lay folks off. But hey, you can always go on welfare. And uh, Breitbart reports perpetual amnesty. Minors illegally crossing Texas border on the rise because their parents can then be brought in under the new amnesty law that Obama is implementing by fiat. So that's just some of the news on that front continuing uh, here today. Gold rises to 17-week high on signs of U.S. economy sputters. Well, it's on the weakening dollar. That's why they artificially keep gold down. That even came out in the Financial Times of London two days ago in a big report that they then pulled today, two days later. Didn't retract it, didn't say it was wrong, just deep sixed at zero hedge uh, is reporting on that right now. And that's also up on Infowars.com. Continuing here, um, gold futures climbed to the highest in almost 17 weeks on speculation that a sputtering U.S. economy will boost demand for the metal as an alternative investment. U.S. consumer confidence fell more than forecast in February from January. An index from the New York-based conference board showed today. Home prices rose at a slower pace than the 12 months that ended in December, according to a separate report. Russia's deputy finance minister said Ukraine faces a high chance of defaulting on its sovereign debt. Gold has gained 12% this year. Told you that was coming. They can only artificially suppress it so long. Here's a big report up on Infowars.com from last night. And I'm going to ask Adon and Kit to put this back in the tiles on the front page of PrisonPlanet.com and Infowars.com because it's a big deal. We told you this was coming in Connecticut. Surrender your firearms, Connecticut tells unregistered gun owners. That's right. And, and uh, New York is banning uh, anything over 10 rounds and SWAT teaming people. State orders owners of newly banned unregistered firearms to turn them all in. State of Connecticut is down demanding that gun owners across the state turn in all newly banned unregistered firearms and magazines or face felony arrest. The state police special licensing and firearms unit began mailing out notices to gun owners who attempted to register their firearms and accessories with the state but did not do so in time for the January 1st deadline of Connecticut's newly enacted gun law. Their answer is turn them in. The law bans the sale of magazines holding over 10 rounds. Assault rivals is anything semi-automatic. We are returning your application for assault rifle certificate, large capacity magazine declaration, because it is not received or postmarked prior to January 
2014, it was required by law. So there you go. It wasn't just registered them. It was actually a confiscation law. 90 plus percent were unable to register. The SWAT teams are coming. Huge Mountain House sale at Emergency Essentials. Right now, get 25% off every can. Go to BePrepared.com for the guaranteed lowest price you'll find anywhere. Mountain House freeze-dried meals are famous for their proven 25-year shelf life, delicious flavors, and easy preparation. This week only, save 25% on over 30 Mountain House varieties. For the best selection, call Emergency Essentials at 800-999-1863 or visit BePrepared.com. The choice is clear. Be unprepared or BePrepared.com. Did you know that organic sulfur can cleanse and defend your body against the poisons we're exposed to each day? Organic sulfur crystals from sulfurdefense.com help by forcing oxygen and nutrition into your cells while eliminating heavy metals, contaminants, and damaging radiation. Defend yourself and family from toxic assault with one of the most critical and essential minerals available today. Order online at sulfurdefense.com. That's sulfurdefense.com. Or call 800-593-6273. The ultimate survival bug out lightweight fishing pole is Emrod. Made by a family owned American company and assembled in Idaho, Emrod fishing gear comes with a lifetime warranty and 90 day money back guarantee. Emrod weighs just 8 ounces and breaks down to 14 inches. Emrod's indestructible stainless steel compact design makes it perfect to take anywhere. Cast your eyes now at Emrod.com. That's E M M R O D.com. Emrod. Fish to survive, survive to fish. Renaissance Charge, have you ever wondered if you can make your car run on 100% electric power for free? Is it now possible? How about a device that is both a super efficient motor and a free energy generator at the same time? What if this device could also restore useless batteries and save you lots of money? The Renaissance Charge Cutting Edge Alternative Energy Tesla Technology. Visit r-charge.com. That's r-charge.com, 208-772-4514. Ladies and gentlemen, America is more dangerous than ever with 9 million property crimes last year. Crimes are happening every day. Be proactive and protect your home and family. Simply Safe Home Security System helps guard against criminals, thugs, and thieves. Listen, Simply Safe is the absolute best alarm system and company in America today. Here's why. We offer a 60-day money-back guarantee. It's affordable, no contracts to sign, and is built with the latest wireless technology. Simply Safe protects the ones you love the most, even if a criminal cuts your power and phone lines. When you order Simply Safe today, you'll receive a 10% discount along with a free keychain remote. Don't wait. This offer is only valid through February 28th. Take advantage of this special discount offer at GetSimplySafe.com. That's GetSimplySafe.com. Protect your home and family now at GetSimplySafe.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Hey guys, pull up that Zero Hedge article that has the screenshot of the Financial Times. Deep sixing that story. I want to get into that. Thanks. Again, yeah, we're back live, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us on this Wednesday edition. Imagine Connecticut, where they tell you you got to go register all your semi autos and your magazines and clips. And then the government offices weren't open long enough. People were unable to do it. Auto folks just didn't do it because it's unconstitutional. And now the state police are sending them letters saying we're getting ready to come arrest you 
You're not allowed to register it now. You just got to turn them all in. Law-abiding citizens. This is an illegitimate government. More and more. And we're not saying the average person that works for the system is a bad person. We don't want to be your enemy. But you've got to stop following these unconstitutional orders. The American people have got to stop following it. You've got election fraud. You've got all sorts of criminality going on. You've got illegals allowed to vote all over the country uh, and, and being given driver's license uh, while citizens are harassed. I mean, it's unprecedented how you're penalized if you try to work in the system and do what you're told in this country. And it's getting worse and worse by the day. Now, speaking of things being rigged, it came out with LIBOR internationally. They're rigging interest rates. A few years ago, even uh, well, Rolling Stone had a cover story about everything is rigged was the headline. All the major IRAs, all the major stocks, all the major derivative funds. It's rigged, folks, for insiders to be able to take over. There's the headline. Everything is rigged. The biggest price-fixing scandal ever. And that means that select insiders get to take over all the markets, not because of productivity, not because of quality, not because of competition, but because their combine is in control. This is what the right wing won't explain to you. They say all corporations are perfect and are good. The left says all corporations are bad, only government is good. When it's a fascist model, a corporatist model on top, a fascist model on top with socialism on the bottom as a tool of domestication and control. This is the type of issue we're talking about here. And it's not my opinion that we've had world currency devaluations, especially in the dollar in the last 30 years. I mean, when I started promoting gold in 1996, it was $300 an ounce or less. It peaked almost at 2000. I didn't sell one piece of gold or silver I bought. Silver went up to 50, went back down to 20. I didn't sell a single piece of it because I fundamentally know that the, they're devaluing paper across the board, all sorts of financial instruments in a bubble. And in, and in the final equation, gold and silver and platinum and palladium and copper and, and so many other commodities traded on the open mercantile exchange are going to go up. And the elites, universities, governments, they're all hoarding it as well. They're net sellers of paper gold to short the market, naked short it, but they're overall hoarders and massive owners of the metals physically. Now, let's get into Bloomberg. Gold rises to 17-week high on signs U.S. economy sputters. The Consumer Confidence Index, home prices, all of it points towards the Federal Reserve cutting, and, and we're really in a slump in 2013. We've been in a slump since 2008. Now, let's continue here. Here is the Financial Times of London. Zero Hedge was able to uh, save it. Here is the Financial Times gold price manipulation article that was removed. Two days ago, FT, the most prestigious financial paper in the world, released a clear, informative, and fact-based article titled, Simply Enough, Gold Price Rigging Fears Put Investors on Alert, in which author Madison Marriage Let's try to get them on, guys. Citing a report by the Fighters Consultancy revealed that global gold prices may have been manipulated 50% on occasions between January 2010 and December 2013. By the way, we ought to get Ted Anderson on the show sometime today to talk about this. And now they've pulled the article. We have a screenshot of that where they said, sorry, the page you're looking for does not exist. They didn't retract it. They deep-sixed it. But it turns out the Financial Times of London, and we have this article mirrored on Infowars.com, turns out the Financial Times uh, story was saved so that you can actually go read what they said. That's the great part about the Internet, or Internets, as George W. Bush uh, puts it. When we come back, we have more on Chase imposes new capital controls on cash deposits. One of my crew members has an account there and confirmed this yesterday, trying to deposit some cash. His wife, that's coming up. We're going to get into the latest uh, on the situation in the Ukraine. That's incredibly serious and a lot more. And I will get more into this polio-like illness that's spreading on the West Coast. Stay with us.
We're